As you guys already know, I recently purchased a Tesla Model 3, so I decided to go ahead and um, do some preparations for it inside and outside the house so I can charge it better and get software updates. So without any further ado, here we go. There's a few things that I didn't know as a Tesla fan for over three years. Is that number one, you need a strong Wi-Fi connection. Number two, that the Wi-Fi receiver on the Model 3 is really um, low and not very powerful, so you need to bring it really close to your house. And number three, that you need to have your plug, your car plugged in and charging in order to get software updates, because otherwise it goes into deep sleep mode or sleep mode and you get none of that. My first initial test when I put the, of the car about 15 meters away from my house, I was only getting 3 megabytes per second. But after rewiring the router and parking the car really close to the front door, I was able to get 60 megabytes per second. Next, I want to make sure that I keep my car plugged in and charging in order to prevent it from going into deep sleep mode and allowing it to download software updates. Uh, I bought this 3.8 kilowatt um, 10 meter long cable from uh, Gamma. I'll have a link in the description. I uh, put the cable through the door. It's not elegant at all. I make sure it's not a coil to prevent it, the cable from overheating. Uh, this is very ugly, but it's a temporary solution. This is the universal mobile charger. And it seems to be charging. Jump real quick into the car. Let's find out how we're doing. Connected to Wi Fi. Charging at 8 amps, 8 kilometers per hour. Mm, slow. I'm gonna give it, yeah, 8. It's limited to 8. There's that. Cheers. High speed Wi Fi and charging in place, the app is so much faster to wake up the car. I can control charging right from the charging tab inside the Tesla app. I can stop charging the car if I need to stop it for some reason. And then I can restart it uh, later on um, and it should go back to 10 kilometers per hour. Oh yeah, and if you tap this little arrow you can adjust the charge limit on your car. I set mine to 80 or 90 percent depending on whether I want to travel for a long distance or not. One last thing I was not prepared for uh, when buying a Model 3 was little children coming up to the car and saying Model 3 mom, this is a Model 3, where today uh, five kids just stood in front of the car and they wouldn't let us go until they asked us if this was really a Model 3. And it gets even better, people start driving next to us at 60 miles per hour on the highway and waving at us, smiling and just generally loving the car. The amount of love that this car gets is unbelievable. Please consider subscribing so we can keep making these short videos and share our general experience about owning Model 3s in Europe.